Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Um, we are, I just have a short little uh, lesson here, just a couple slides worth to just mention uh, what I call glycolysis alternatives. These are pathways that cells can use in lieu of glycolysis, typically because they may not have all of the required enzymes to do the 10 steps of glycolysis. But it, if that's the case, the cell metabolism won't completely stop. It'll allow the cells to continue producing G3P or pyruvic acid to move on into the next steps of cellular respiration. It also allows for some of those intermediates to be produced to go off and send off to other pathways. Remember that first crazy picture of all those pathways? Sometimes it's not the end result that is important, but some of those intermediate products are needed for other parts of the cell to do what it needs to do. So we have two glycolysis alternatives. The first one is called the pentose phosphate pathway, or PPP. Um, I had to split it between two slides, so this will be on this one and the next slide. And if you'll notice, it starts off very similar to um, glycolysis with our glucose. We phosphorylate it. We burn a little bit of ATP. But now we're going to start seeing uh, some differences. So the first thing that you should notice is these guys right here. Instead of an NAD+, plus, and NADH, we have an NADP plus and an NADPH. So those are, they serve the same purpose. They're just slightly different. They have a phosphate group incorporated in their um, molecular structure. And so they're, they're just electron carriers and they're going to go and take those electrons to other reactions, typically anabolic pathways, the building up of things. We need energy and sometimes those energies are in the form of these electrons. So we produce these um, electron carriers during this pentose phosphate pathway that can be used um, in other processes. Uh, we can also see one of our intermediates is called ribulose 5-phosphate, which we do not see in glycolysis. This goes to photosynthesis, the Calvin Benson cycle, which we'll be seeing um, in our last video for chapter five. This is the part of actually making sugar. So it is an anabolic pathway. So that kind of makes sense. And then we have this another very similar sounding molecule called ribose 5-phosphate. So ribulose 5-phosphate goes to photosynthesis. Ribose 5-phosphate goes to help make nucleotides, right? So nucleotides, A's, T's, C's, and G's. We need that 5-carbon sugar, the ribose or the deoxyribose, and that's where we can get some of those. So if you, you know, if you're a cell and you've got plenty of ATP, but you're, you're getting ready for cell division, you're going to have to copy all of your DNA and you need more nucleotides, you might send your glucose down this pathway instead of glycolysis because maybe you need to get some of those ribose 5-phosphates to be able to manufacture more nucleotides in preparation for DNA replication. Or maybe you're a photosynthetic bacteria and you need some ribulose 5-phosphate um, to go to the Calvin-Benson cycle. So instead of sending your glucose down glycolysis pathway, maybe you'll do the PPP pathway. So this is the first half. So in the second half, you'll see we do have some things that look familiar. We have some glycerolid 3-phosphate, G3Ps, which can go to kind of just kind of slide in right there in step six of glycolysis. Um, we have fructose 6-phosphate, which can go into step two. Um, we have glucose 6-phosphate, which can go back into um, step kind of between step one and two of glycolysis. Um, and then some more uh, G3Ps. So lots of, it's just an alternative pathway. What can we do with this glucose um, based on the needs of the cell? Okay, so that's our PPP, alternative to glycolysis number one. The second one is called the entner daugeroff pathway or the ED pathway. Um, and if you'll notice, it also has the NADP and the NADPH as, and, as opposed to the NAD plus and NADP. Uh, NADH, like we see in glycolysis. Um, we see some slightly different intermediates, but really the goal for this one is the same. We get pyruvic acid, which can go to Krebs. We get G3P, which can go, you know, just run through glycolysis. You can go into Krebs or fermentation. So really it's just the kind of first couple steps are the ones that are mostly different from glycolysis. And most likely a cell would do this particular pathway because maybe it lacks the enzymes in those first five steps of glycolysis. But here is an alternative pathway to allow them to continue to produce G3P and pyruvic acid. So just looking at my notes, I have um, 
Pentose phosphate pathway is found um, in most other cells. So our cells do it. Um, plant cells have it because of the, the ribulose 5-phosphate and NADPH is used in photosynthesis as well. But the ED pathway is found in only just a few types of bacteria. So this is unique to bacteria where the PPP is not. It's found in both uh, eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. Okay, so just a short little, little mini lesson on these alternatives to um, glycolysis. We're going to take a look at fermentation next. I will see you then. Bye.